All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the brand new Dragon Age The Veil Guard trailer has just released, and I figure, you know what? Why not check it out? This is their official launch trailer, as you can see here on YouTube. I don't have the dislike extension anymore because, honestly, I just don't really give a shit, although I do find it highly sus that it is at 21,000 views and almost 10,000 likes. That is something that has never happened with any video released about Dragon Age The Veil Guard, so, hey, maybe people, maybe people's opinions are swaying the other way. Who really knows? But this is the official launch of Dragon Age to Guard, and I figured let's see exactly what kind of foot they're going to put forward with this launch trailer and react to it together. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? So let's get into this video, guys. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. Now, I'm going to be pausing, you know, the, the trailer because I don't know if it's copyrighted. I highly doubt it is. But I just, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to take the risk. I don't want to freaking edit this later down the road and uh, fix it because of copyright. So here we go. Let's see what they got. Let's see what are they going to put out forward in their launch trailer. Here we go. Well, really quick, it says mix of gameplay and in-game cinematics. Uh, cinematics. Okay, no Together problem. Quickly, the fate of the world shall be decided soon. I'm going to assume this part is cinematics because it looks way better than the gameplay shown. So those things we saw come out of the fade. Two ancient elven gods. They were horrific tyrants. The worst is still coming. You know what's interesting to me? The cinematics of Dragon Age The Guard look a hell of a lot better than the gameplay in terms of the overall feel to it, right? Because the cinematics are not portraying the same level of Fortnite-style characters that you get with the actual gameplay showcases. And that's what's kind of upsetting because this trailer right now looks pretty damn decent in terms of the, you know, the overall look in terms of Dragon Age and whatnot. It looks more so like a Dragon Age game, a little bit darker, a little bit more grittier. That's good, right? But then when it gets to the gameplay, that's when it tends to fall apart and, and it's unfortunate because it's a misrepresentation of what the game actually is but anyway let's continue unless we stop them and this is where it tends to fall apart a little bit centuries are awakening shut it down i'm trying so far it says a mix of gameplay and cinematics but all we're getting is cinematics for the first minute of the of the uh, trailer so dead stir more easily than they should yeah, you see, hold on, go back, go back really quick. So, you see this? Hold on, where... Yeah, see, this is where it falls apart for me. So, this is like one of those in-game cinematics, right? It's not an actual cinematic, you know, trailer or whatever. It's an in-game cinema. It's a cutscene, right? So, this just looks so off to me. This is where I get thrown off because the beginning, what we saw in the beginning looked a lot grittier, a lot darker, and a lot more like old-school Dragon Age. This, on the other hand, looks something totally fucking different. And I, I just don't understand the, uh, the dichotomy going on here. But anyway, let's, let's just continue. That was a cool looking enemy. There. It's been feeding on the blight. So that's the gameplay part, I'm assuming. dangerous by the day. The gods I can feel their corruption. The cults gathering power. You know what's interesting, ladies and gentlemen? So I want you guys to keep in mind, this is this was originally called Dragon Age uh, Dreadwolf, right? Where is Solas? Where is Solas in any of this trailer? I think this actually leads evidence to what Nudie's uh, leaker was saying during their playtest where Solas has been completely sidelined. Solas is nowhere to be found in the first minute and 20 seconds of this trailer, and it's a two-minute trailer, and he's nowhere to be found. So I, I genuinely believe that Solas is going to be completely sidelined, and I think what the playtester was saying was true in that regard, which unfortunately makes me believe more of what else he was saying regarding the game. I, I just, again, I, I don't know why they decided to go from Dreadwolf to Veilguard, but that's just where we're at, I suppose. Dark Spawn are charging to Weishaupt. You're the only force that can stop this. But not if they burn your castle to the ground. Get down! It will not be easy. But you... 
Yeah, man, I, I am not buying these graphics. I haven't seen any gameplay. Again, this says a mix between gameplay and cinematics, but all we've seen are cinematics. Just because they're in-game cinematics doesn't mean it's gameplay. You know what I'm saying? Where is the gameplay? I saw maybe like a small snippet of, of gameplay versus the dragon, right? That scene where he casted that spell against the dragon, that purple spell, whatever. That's the only little bit of gameplay that I've seen so far in this trailer. Where is the gameplay? We're almost done with the trailer and it is nowhere to be found, which makes me a little bit sus over the actual gameplay. But anyway, let's continue. This world's only hope. Oh, was that the non-binary Kunari? Uh, hold on, go back. Yeah, this is so, so supposedly, if I'm not mistaken, according to the playtester that Nudie spoke to, this is supposed to be the Kunari that introduces himself as non-binary in the game. So I'm very curious to see whether or not that actually happens and whether or not that's true. Let's see. I believe in all of us. Wow, that was a really... <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man, this just doesn't look like Dragon Age. Can we can we make the gameplay like the cinematic? I mean, I, can we like get the tone right for the actual uh, from the actual cinematics? Because I feel like they were so much better with the tone. And if they would have went with that tone instead of this, this would be a lot more like an actual Dragon Age game, even with all the woke nonsense. Right. I feel like the feel of it and the look of it would draw people in more. But right now, I feel like just from the look of it alone, you're scaring off people that were previous fans of Dragon Age. Sure, there's going to be most of them that are going to give you a shot. But overall, some people are going to be like, what the hell is this what what am i looking at this doesn't look like dragon age to me yep well so that's basically it ladies and gentlemen so supposedly i want to remind people this was supposed to be a mix of gameplay and in-game cinematics there was barely any gameplay in here i don't see a single portion aside from that scene i don't know if i could find it with the right this one right here where he cast the spell that's gameplay. Okay, that, that that I know is gameplay for sure, right? Fine, no problem. But aside from that, bro, like, what are we doing? There ain't no fucking gameplay in here. There's just in-game cinematics. That's it. And regular cinematics. There's no gameplay. So I don't know if they thought they were being uh, smart by saying, yeah, it has gameplay in it, but they just meant in-game cinematics. But this is just one little tidbit of gameplay. That's it. And you've already showed this. How many times are you going to show the same scene of fighting the same fucking dragon? I don't understand. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was essentially another cinematic trailer. They can say it was a mix of gameplay all they want, but they're lying to you. It's not a mix of gameplay at all. This was a cinematic trailer. There are some things in this trailer that looked cool. See, this looks fucking sick, bro. This looks sick. I can't even lie. This looks sick right here. This feel, this look, God, I love this shit. This looks like this looks like Dragon Age, like a modern graphic to Dragon Age. That looks good. Nice and dark and gritty. I like that shit. And then eventually it just ends up becoming some Fortnite fucking skin over. And I don't, I don't really know what's happening. This looks pretty good, too. I like this, right? But then there was other parts here. I'm trying to find the. Uh... Oh, there. Oh, so lost is right there. Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Go back. Go back. But you are this world's only hope. Finally, so they show, wait, wait, they show Solas one time at one minute and 42 seconds. That's when Solas shows up. Otherwise, he never, he's not in this trailer at all, bro. Wow. He's absolutely sidelined, ladies and gentlemen. There's no doubt about it. Solas is going to be that figure that you're just going to chase throughout the entire game. He's going to be sidelined all the way until the end. And that is basically it. I, I do believe the playtester at that point. So we'll see what ends up happening on October 31st. Obviously, guys, you already know I'm going to be streaming the game the moment it goes live on Hypnotic Live. So if you're not subscribed to that channel, please make sure to go subscribe to it. I'm going to leave the link down in the description box below for you to go subscribe to it. It's my secondary channel where I upload clips from my live streams. And I also live stream video games there because I can't do it on this channel because the algorithm is just totally different here. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.